We are in Ekomai today. We're exploring this area and we're gonna start with some delicious Isan food. If you're not familiar with Isan food, it is the traditional food from the northeastern region of Thailand. This Thai food is very specific, a lot of fresh ingredients, a lot of um, herbs. herbs, fermented, fried fish, that sort of thing. So we got a few different things. We got a mushroom Isan style salad. Yum. So all of this smells so good and it's warm actually. We also got some, don't want to drop the sauce, some grilled pork neck, got some your favorite and my favorite the isan sausage with some roasted peanuts on the side and some sticky rice and we got this we had got this many years ago we just got it again it's called et cola so it's kind of like a thai cola and this size here is a small one. so we got one of those just to share um yeah, I'm really excited. I love Isan food, but it's not always easy to find or um, authentic enough. So I'm excited. What do we start with? I'm going to start with some grilled pork neck. It's calling my name. You get a fatty piece because John doesn't like the fatty pieces too much. This sauce looks amazing. My mouth is watering. This red sauce looks so good. It's got uh, cilantro, some spring onions, some chilies. Ooh, looks good. Oh, that tastes good too. Whoa. It's like fatty, but like almost jammy. Like it's so delicious and like the grill taste is perfect. This is such, this is probably one of the best grilled pork mix I've had. Ooh, and I've had a few. Mm -hmm. That sauce alone is worth getting that dish, but that juicy pork, holy. Um, like, I'm like, going in for a second one. Yeah, same. It's like melting your mouth almost, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And even the fatty bits are, they just melt. Yay. It's not like a chewy fat, it's really, really good. I like that in any consistency. <laughs> but John doesn't like when it's chewy, so. back to like our early days in Thailand. We used to order this all the time because everyone around us at the restaurants were always ordering at cola, not coke, or they wouldn't even have coke available. Mm -hmm. So we would just go with this and oh, just it's bring like, it back. It's like an in-between coke and Pepsi, I would say. Totally. It's like the two had a baby and made this. Yeah. The first time we had it was at this boat noodle spot and like, yeah, we were asking for coke and she was like, it cola, it cola, and I was like, Coca-Cola? <laughs> And I just remember it was just saying, yeah, let's go for it. And yeah, it takes good. me right back. Okay. And it's funny, as the ice melts in it, it almost becomes more Thai. Yeah, yeah, for like, sure. Like it brings back even more nostalgia. Yeah. So we're gonna try the sausage next. Ooh. Really interested in the roasted peanuts on the side here. Yeah. Also has some raw garlic and some raw ginger, raw cabbage, cilantro, and lettuce on the side too. I'm gonna split one in half so I can have a little bit of every single topping that John just mentioned because I like to taste it. That's smart. Me, I'm gonna go full for sausage. the whole thing. <laughs> He's just gonna go for the full sausage. I'm not afraid of a little raw ginger. I know some people aren't a fan. <clears throat> My body doesn't like raw garlic, but right. I love it. Um, especially ever since we had Taiwanese sausage with the raw garlic, mm. I've totally come on board with sausage and raw garlic. I feel like you're supposed to kind of just go for it, but I'm gonna eat this first and then chase it with the chili because. Oh, yeah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. 
gotta have the chili. That's a good chili. The chilies we had at uh, the train market the other day were really not giving spice, but these are these are good. These are giving life. I've oh, never had so this good. with peanut. It's really good with the peanut. Oh, and there's ginger too. Mm -hmm. They try with ginger. So we always get these on the street side when we see them. It's we had them one year, and I've been so obsessed with them ever since. You'll know them by the shape. They're kind of little balls, or sometimes little like oval shapes. Um, they're grilled out on the streets um, here. They're a little softer. They're not so grilled, um, but full of flavor. The ginger. You gotta have it with the ginger. Mm. Mm. Little peanut, cilantro, little garlic, mm. little ginger, <laughs> and the chili. I put it all in the spoon and get it in at once, minus the chili, but... Oh. It's smoky, it's a little bit sweet, a little bit sour. It's sour, yeah. Wow. I'm forgetting to describe the food today. I'm just like eating. Thanks, that, John. <laughs> yeah, you're right. That ginger actually brings out the flavor really well. I don't like ginger. That's raw garlic I can get on board with, but ginger, I'm like, mm hmm. But mm -hmm. I really like this. Mm. <laughs> I'm having the time of my life. Okay, I'm gonna have the mushroom salad, Isan style. So it's like a lab type of a salad, one of my favorites. Um, this one was inoki and other types of mushroom. I love every mushroom. I don't discriminate. So I know this is gonna be I can confirm. A hit. Yeah, I She's really a mushroom fanatic. Salad time. Got all the the lab flavor that you would uh, expect, mm -hmm. but the mushroom actually adds a whole different flavor to it. It's a really fun texture mm -hmm. with the flavor yeah. too. Like everything we order is very different from each other, so I'm really enjoying it. Mm. Like rather than being super meaty or porky, um, it's got this like earthy mushroom flavor to it. It's really fun. So my favorite is the grilled pork neck. And then the sausage, because I just love an Isan sausage, but with all those fixings, it was like, yes, I would agree with that. I've never had it like that, with the ginger, the garlic, the peanuts. Mm -hmm. So that was really special. And then the salad, I would say, is still really good, but it's number three, if I had to rate. We actually ate here uh, many years ago in this very restaurant. They used to have a soup with red ant eggs and marva in it and full ants. Um, I'm, I'm shocked at how brave we used to be. <laughs> Still am. No, but how brave we oh, used to be. Oh, back then, yeah. That was one of the first places in Asia I had ever traveled to outside of Canada. Yeah, that's wild for him. I had like a negative palate <laughs> and uh, we came here and we started eating ant soup and I, I really enjoyed it. So I think maybe that was like the beginning of it all. Mm. And yeah, we just had to come back. We had to look up. Well, I was just looking for really good Isan food and this showed up again and I was like, that seems familiar. And I was looking through the pictures and I was like, that's where we ate like way back when and it's still obviously doing really well, rated high. So I'm like, let's go back, let's go see it. It is not disappointing. No, I'd say it's improved even. Ooh, yeah. Mm -hmm. What's your favorite Isan food? I'm curious, because obviously. Mm -hmm. Or is there other dishes that, uh, or flavors that we did not uh, try here that you really think we should try? Mm -hmm. Because we'll do that next time. Because I am, I am hooked. Yeah. I, am, I am really into this food. Isan is a good time, mm -hmm. for sure. Anyways, I think that wraps up you guys watching this eat so we can really get into this and get messy about it. But um, yeah, we'll see you in a bit. So if you haven't heard, Ekamai is a great location for food. Um, as you saw, we were just at that incredible Isan restaurant. But if you're looking for somewhere else, check out this one here. Uh, it's a really, really great restaurant with some amazing cow soy. Try the beef, 
We love it. We were we were thinking about going there today, but we've been there quite a few times and we were like, we need to do something different. Something like that we haven't done in a while. And you know what? I'm glad we did the Isan because that hit the spot. But yeah, that place is amazing. Go there. They have a little um, coin system that you pay with. Like when you order the food, they give you a little, not coin, a little button, sorry. And it's really cute. So when you go up to the cash to pay, you give them the button. And that is the value of the meal. They just know what each button means. Super cute, delicious food, fun ambiance. You see this bar here? It's just in the back parking lot here. So we just walked by Headmark, which is Mark Weems' restaurant. Uh, we haven't eaten there yet. What are your thoughts? Do you love it? We love Mark Weems, but we haven't um, gone to his restaurant. So are we going to love his restaurant? Let us know if you've eaten there. I've heard it's like an hour long wait. Oh, so right. I want to make sure it's worth it before we do it. Yeah. Okay, we're here at Major Cineplex Sukhumvit. Um, we're going to see a movie. We've been to this location a few times and it's really nice. Um, it's got this funky little lounge you can wait in before your movie. Last time we were here though, they had a Chacha Moo um, bubble tea station here. <laughs> it's gone! <laughs> How it's could they do that to you? Just when I was saying I'm having a great day, everything's going our way. <laughs> I spoke too soon. Um, and I was so excited for it because last time I saw people taking in their drinks and I was like, oh, that's exactly what I want when I'm in the movies, like a Chatra mood drink, like that's a dream come true. But last time we had just eaten just like today and we were all like full and didn't want anything else. But this time we came with the intention that like, oh, we'll have that sweet, delicious drink for the movie. And now I feel like I'm on a hunger strike or a drink strike. I don't want anything else. <laughs> John's upset because he wants to go get something. Yeah. It's a 7-Eleven just downstairs. But you're not supposed to take outside stuff in. Okay, I convinced her to go to 7-Eleven and get some snacks. I finally did it. Oh. When have you ever seen a 7-Eleven close in Thailand? What is going on? And I swear there used to be a family mart somewhere in here. That has since closed as well. We may be snack free for this movie. Hopefully it's not too long. All right, we're going without snacks and drinks, but just wanted to share with you that on Wednesdays here, I don't know if it's for all theaters, but here, the tickets were only 140 baht each, which is a really good deal because uh, the regular price is about 350 baht. So if you're gonna try out the movie theaters here in Bangkok, which I highly recommend you do, try to go on a Wednesday, book online, you'll get it for 140 baht instead of 350. Well, we're seat eight. Yes. 
that's a contender. Yes, but this one at least, like you can get anywhere. That's the thing, you know, you don't have to travel all the way to Orta Pro Market to get that green milk tea. This is always the same, no matter what location you order at. So by the way, we, uh, we were craving this so badly that we actually walked um, all the way over to M. Cortier Mall, which if you're not familiar with, is a very high-end mall uh, with a very cool garden terrace at the top. Now, if you saw our first, our very first video, you'll know what we're talking about, but we're gonna go enjoy this up there. Um, and uh, end the night, it's actually a really nice night. It's hot, yeah. but it's a beautiful night out. And this is our spot, if you don't know already, if you, uh, if you didn't watch our first video, like John said, but we always come here every trip that we come to Bangkok because I don't know, it's just one of those really nostalgic spots for us and uh, the view is stunning and it just feels like a little piece of, um, I don't know, a little piece of... Nostalgia. Nostalgia, just for our, ourselves. Our past. Yeah. So we come here every time, have a little drink and I'm excited, we haven't been here yet. But we'll show you around. If you haven't been here before, it's a really cool thing, so stick around. So take the escalators all the way up or the elevator up to the fourth floor and then take this escalator up and this is what you get. Impresses us every time. And they don't always have a display like this every now and then, but when they have something like this, it's just extra special. because It's like such a pretty little greeting to one of our favorite spots in Bangkok, I would say. So as you can see behind me, it's this beautiful green space up on the fifth floor here. They, it explores us every time, it's so beautiful. But our favorite part is just past the Starbucks here. You get this beautiful view of the city. And actually it's a bit different now because the M-Sphere has been fully built. So we never saw this before. This is new for us even. Look at that. You can see the uh, beach club in all its glory there at nighttime. There's the BTS, double BTS. And a beautiful view of the city. Okay, it's the end of another day and another video. If you've enjoyed watching our content, please do subscribe. And we'll see you on the next one. Bye. Bye.